Bush for Birds is a large-scale conservation project funded by the Australian Government. So the project provides incentives for landholders to get involved in conserving old pockets of remnants and scattered trees by protecting and enhancing them, including the establishment of native vegetation for our disappearing woodland birds. This particular wetland, one of the issues it needed was actually some advice on um, what it needed in as far as some uh, revegetation for shrubs etc and that was one of the things I really liked about bush for birds and also the ability to control some of the introduced species such as phalaris and there's a couple of other introduced grasses in there to try and take it back to a more natural state. We're looking for landholders who would want to set aside at least five hectares of vegetation that would mostly consist of remnant vegetation, scattered trees or wetlands. So one of the ways in which landholders can contribute is if they've already got a reasonably good patch of bush and they might want to protect and enhance it, is just fencing out, managing the stock. And it doesn't necessarily mean total exclosure, but generally it's giving the bush a chance to regenerate and do its own thing. We've got quite a number of areas that we fenced out for biodiversity and protected, mainly just because it gives a bit of balance to the landscape. The data shows that we're areas that have got good biodiversity and and the good aesthetics, they're commanding much better sale prices. We've planted um, oh, about four and a half thousand trees uh, all up along two corridors. Both region honeyeaters and swift parrots are threatened because we've lost about 75% of the habitat that used to be here pre-European times. And the remnants that are left are often uh, in a situation where we've got competing birds, noisy miners in particular, make it really difficult for them to compete in those fragmented landscapes. There was a lot of old mature trees here and we really valued that. We decided to enhance that as much as we possibly could. Most of the plants are bird attracting and that's reaping benefits at present. A mix of wood plantations that we planted ourselves, we planted 6,000 trees uh, about 15 years ago and we run a few sheep, about 30 ewes. We can still manage grazing in an ecologically sensitive manner. It just means being practical about when we put in stock. It's generally short periods. Since we fenced it off, there's a number of plants that have come up that we'd never seen before, that the stock just ate off. Um, especially a lot of the little wetland plants. They're very succulent, very juicy, obviously very tasty. Um, they've all come back just by their own accord. Um, the number of bird species has increased and uh, there's gliders, we've now got a pair of wedge-tailed eagles that um, frequent here, they weren't here before and so it's just that whole package bringing back that balance of the landscape. Just saw this bird that I wasn't quite sure what it was, looked it up in the book and it was the region honey eater. The remnant areas, both in the middle of winter and also in the summer, when you've got extremes of hot, heat and cold, you look at where the stock are, they're taking advantage of the shade and shelter that a lot of these remnant areas give. And so, yeah, it's a definite benefit from that perspective. Well, we've lost a lot of our landscape, which supports the main habitat types, the box ironbark forest, the open woodlands, the white box, yellow box grassy woodlands. And because they've particularly been the ones that have been agriculturally cleared, that has been the good, good farming country which we've lost. And so particularly for the spring breeding season, we've, we've lost that habitat. That's why it's so important that some of the protection mechanisms that the Bush for Birds program offers is going to be able to really contribute to the conservation of those, those species and woodland birds generally. We both really enjoy the bird life and uh, uh, I think it's partially what makes the place and makes, uh, or gives us the enjoyment we get from it. We're offering a range of incentives uh, to help landholders succeed with their projects. From my perspective, the Bush for Birds project is a great opportunity and yeah, I'd really encourage other people to take it up, try it out, have a look at it and uh, see what they can do. The, the expression of interest process is really simple and the range of options you can tailor what you want to do, so have a go.